What's up traders? Sean, Zar Trader Guy. And this is the technical analysis of Bitcoin. We've been seeing a, a huge, huge decline in Bitcoin over the last couple of days. And I was about to make a video saying that I can see a breakout coming and a breakout has come, especially for Ethereum. Bitcoin, not as much. I think uh, Bitcoin dominance is on the decline. But let's get into the chart. We're looking at Bitcoin on the 27th of October. We had a huge drop from 61,200 all the way down to 57,760. Now, the reason that this happened is because on the 27th or running up to the 27th, there was huge greed in the market. People were thinking the bull run is right here. Parabolic moves were coming in and they were over, over leveraging their positions. So what happened was that on the 27th, you can see here by this, this is all the longs liquidations, which means when you buy low and sell high, short sell when you buy high and sell low, you can make money both ways if you're trading leveraged positions. And you can see here the total wrecked or the total, total liquidations was 810 million US dollars. So this is very, very good for, for the market because what happens is when people get greedy over leverage positions go in and what happened, I think, was a chain reaction. So one position got liquidated and another position got liquidated and it just is a follow on because when you buy low and you have a point of liquidation where the exchange is going to say you don't have enough margin in your account we are now closing your position that closes with a short when a short happens there's a selling that happens and it's just a follow-on effect selling is actually going to push the price down so we can see it's re relatively small compared to the one that happened on the 6th of september 3.22 billion and very very interesting that as the price has broken up you can see that we've been trading in this box is actually just for the last day between the 58,000 and the 59,700 level and people were thinking that the market was going to go down and there was a possibility that the market could go down to possibly the $55,000 area but what's happened was people were hedging the positions and getting to short positions which means that they were they were getting into a sell position here with hoping that the price would go down and have a look at the liquidations that are happening here short liquidation short 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 and i've been saying this to you on my videos that whenever the news is selling a certain bias you can almost be certain if you go the opposite way you are going to make money it's not to say that the price is not going to go down again it might actually touch down to the 58,000 55,000 level there's a lot of bullish data that is happening on chain so at the moment if you look at the news there is data that suggests that there is less and less Bitcoin stored on exchanges so people are holding the Bitcoin taking it off exchanges storing it in, in hard wallets and that means that there's a short supply when there's a short supply what happens to the price in any market it actually pushes the price up so and that is what's going to happen that is bullish for bitcoin in the long run we also look at the crypto fear and greed index at the moment it's at at greed a couple of days ago it was ex at extreme greed and um, because of that people were just putting a lot of money into over leverage positions and that's why they got liquidated so my advice to you is buy on spot because you buy on spot your money is a lot safer that doesn't mean you you can't lose money but if the price dips way way down you can still hold that position without actually being liquidated so let's look at ETH ETH was trading in this box of between 4051 and 3891 I actually entered into an ETH position on the 27th yesterday right after the dump happened I got out of a position that I was in in profit and I'm going to show you this position real quick small position size only $125 but you can see here that 
that's my long position that I closed the other day and I entered in at 4155 I made a DCA buy at 4068 and then 3950 and also 3890 I wouldn't recommend this if you're a new trader because if you don't know what you're doing don't know where the support levels are resistance levels are you are going to get wrecked very very quickly as I said I entered at $4,155 and because of my DCAs my average price came down and my entry price came down to 4013 so I'm holding on to this position I'm going to see if it's going to break this resistance over here at 4152 if it breaks this resistance we could actually start seeing a run up to 4300 at, at the moment my take profit is at 4300 so let's see I'm hoping it's going to break out because I'd like to make some money on this position but I'm going to put my stops in profit just in case we see a drop right down another bullish indicator you can see our third biggest whale made a purchase today very very interesting 1161 Bitcoin so if the news is bearish why is one of the biggest Bitcoin holders and addresses buying at 58,500 it's still a good place to get into crypto hold your positions this is what I've been saying to you guys let's look at the USDT dominance remember when USDT dominance goes down Bitcoin and crypto goes up and there's a little trend line that's that's developed here and we're about to break the trend line if it breaks this trend line we could see huge huge moves this is extremely ex exciting very exciting time for crypto and a lot of predictions are saying that by the end of October we two three days from the end of October Bitcoin is gonna hit 63,000 again I'm I'm not so sure but anything could happen looking at total two this is the crypto cap of all of the crypto excluding Bitcoin we're seeing a huge move up and if we see a break of this trend line going up we're gonna see altcoins running also very quickly Bitcoin dominance uh, up until an hour ago was in a decline you can see a huge drop over here and all of a sudden a quick move up let's look at what Bitcoin is oh look at that Bitcoin has broken the $60,000 level and we've got two and a half minutes to the hourly close so if this level can hold and we can start pushing up we can see a breaking of the 61100 and a testing possibly of that $63,000 level so traditionally November is extremely bullish for crypto and Bitcoin let's see what's going to happen smash the like button if you like this content content subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and give me a comment if you think that Bitcoin is going to hit 63,000 by the end of the month let me know if you don't think so let me know I'd love to be in a discussion with you see you soon